Hey guys, um, it's week seven of distance learning and this week we're talking about birds. Um, hopefully you guys are doing great. I'm coming at you from Oceanside Harbor and I've been looking at the birds and checking them out and reminding myself of all of the cool features that they have that basically put them in this group. Um, one of the things that makes a bird a bird is the fact that they have feathers. So they don't have any fur. They basically growing out of their pores are these um, are the feathers that have a vein down the middle and quills. And you'll kind of be looking at some stuff um, this week that um, bring out those um, features. Um, but they also have scales on their legs and their feet, um, which is sort of kind of their transition from reptiles to birds. They also lay eggs like the reptiles do, but instead of being kind of a leathery kind of coating that protects the eggs, these ones are a hard calcium carbonate shell. Um, <clears throat> a lot of them will um, eat their eggs um, or pick at their eggshells later on to replenish their calcium so that they can lay more eggs. Um, chickens have to have a high diet in calcium so that they can continuously lay eggs. Um, or else their eggs are going to be too um, uh, brittle and they won't be able to survive being sat on and things like that. Um, in fact, in, historically, there was a time in our history where we were using the insecticide DDT. And DDT, one of the side effects was it that they found that once it was in the groundwater, once it was in, it kind of became part of food, um, that uh, the DDT chemicals were creating um, eggs that were too weak to be able to like grow basically and uh, and so these eggs once they were laid they would just break it was really it was sad and we had a bunch of birds that were um, on the brink of extinction uh, and so kind of uh, you know we live we learn and we find those things and then DDT was banned Unfortunately, um, it was probably sold overseas for about 10 more years until the, you know, until the chemical companies got shamed into completely taking it out of existence. Um, but that happens. Anyway, so birds though, birds obviously, so they have feathers, they have um, scaly feet, they have um, hollow bones, and this is the thing that allows them to um, be light enough. These hollow bones are strong but they're light enough so that they can get this, the lift that they need um, unless they have been, um, unless they're a species that has too much muscle, they're too heavy to get that lift, like uh, um, there are some flightless birds, or they have, um, <coughs> bird, uh, they have uh, um, too much meat, or they're just structured like a penguin. Penguins don't have um, the feathers, the flippers, to um, have them fly. But if you look at them swim through water, they actually look like they're flying through the water. It's pretty cool. Um, but uh, so we've got that. Now, another thing I'd like you to notice about birds um, is gonna be that they are pure purpose. Um, when you look at a bird, they will, uh, you can look at their feet and see basically, look at their feet and their beaks, and you can see exactly what they eat and what their lifestyle is. Um, if they have very long uh, legs with splayed out toes, they're probably going to be a bird that needs to walk through um, sand or maybe they're a shorebird. Um, if they have perching um, legs, perching feet, basically helps them perch onto branches, um, they're going to probably be arboreal or, you know, tree. They're landing in trees and that's where they, um, or they need those to uh, grasp onto their prey, things like that. And so, um, so if you look at their beak, uh, you'll be able to tell if they're a seed eater, you know, they just have like a pokey beak, or um, maybe they're a nectar drinker, or like the hummingbird, you see those hummingbird beaks are so long, and they have this super long tongue that comes out of their beak. I'm gonna post a couple of um, other videos that go with this, where um, I have a hummingbird that, unfortunately, had ran into my sliding glass door um, and so but you can see its little tongue drinking water it's so beautiful um, but uh, and that's what they do with flowers 
or maybe they're meat eaters and so they will have these like um, sharp uh, uh, for ripping flesh and things like that and so it just sort of depends on what what their diet is what their lifestyle is and that's the shape of the beak you can pretty much guess what kind of an eater they are by what the shape of their beak is and then what the, sh the um, shape of their feet are so um, it's all common sense really I mean they're not gonna they're not gonna be doing what they're not supposed to be doing honestly and then um, I also just uh, videotaped a couple of birds flying by and you'll be able to see whether they're um, hopefully on the um, field identification of flying birds um, you'll see uh, how the birds will either fly with their feet extended or they'll fly with their feet retracted. You're honestly never going to look at birds again the same way. You're going to kind of look at, um, after you do that lab, you'll be able to um, really visualize, um, you'll look at their wings and their wingspan and you'll kind of look up at their silhouette and go, oh, that's a pointed wing or that's a slotted wing or um, those are, that's a broad wing or a narrow wing. It's going to be, um, it's, it's really cool because what you're going to see this week is that um, we have, uh, we've got so much variety there, but it really is all based on structure, based on morphology. Um, anyway, okay, so I hope you guys have a great week. We're getting down to the end. Um, please try to finish strong. Um, if you've got makeup work, um, do it and then send me a list of what you've done so that I can check it. If you've noticed any errors, um, point those out for me too because you know I don't really know. Um, I figure that what I'm putting up is showing to you correctly. If you notice something weird, please let me know so that I can correct it for you. Or if I have graded something incorrectly, um, I, I'm always I want to go in and grade that for you. Um, <coughs> Please do all your work with integrity. Um, you are not supposed to be working together. Um, and, uh, and if you're posting answers that are the same, um, to me, that's cheating. So, you know, really do your own work and be the best you can be. Um, and uh, just have a great week. And hopefully you're feeling good, feeling strong, and nothing um, bad is happening. So please let me know if I can do anything to help you. Um, and uh, I miss you guys a lot and I mean obviously I'm at a gorgeous place but I still miss you all right okay love you guys bye